What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and welcome to the continuation of the Super Nintendo Showcase. In this week's episode, we're going to go through G through M. I didn't realize until I was actually doing this just how many games I actually have that are under the title of M, but we'll get to those in just a minute. So, enough chatting, hope you're enjoying these, let's jump right in. First up, we got Gradius 3. You guys know this one. You've seen me play it a bunch on my Super Sunday series. So, and I will be sure to be checking that out again. So definitely a fun, but challenging space shmup. On easy, it's not too bad, but on the higher difficulties, ooh Lord, look out. So let's continue on. Next, I think this kind of falls underneath G for great circus mystery. Suppose you could also put it under M for Mini, Minnie and Mickey Mouse, but I just put it under G. The Great Circus Mystery starring Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a fun platformer that's enjoyable but not too challenging, and it's also got co-op, so definitely worth checking this one out. We continue right along. Next, I got another game that I featured before. This is Hyperzone, a Mode 7 rail shooter that's just... There's not a whole lot to it. It's just, you just race along and shoot everything in your path and try to survive as long as you can. It's another one I featured before. Oh no, I like this game. It still remained a very cheap title. I got this copy for seven bucks. You should be able to find this one pretty easily for under 10. It's got a really kick butt soundtrack too. So if you've never checked out the OST, I recommend listening to it. Let's go with another action platformer. How about Judge Dredd? Somewhat loosely based off the movie. All in all enjoyable game. The only downside of this one is sometimes you could roam around and just have absolutely no idea where you're supposed to go. But it's kind of cool that you could blow guys away or you can, you know, condemn them and they get whisked away. So it's enjoyable. But like I said, sometimes just roaming around having no idea where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do is kind of annoying. So we'll continue on. Definitely got to have a good baseball game on the console. So how about... Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball, the original one. SNES Drunk's favorite baseball game, maybe one of his favorite games ever, so shout out to SNES Drunk. I know he loves this one. I really need to sit down and try a full season of this one. Another game I haven't played nearly enough. Kirby's Dream Course, where Kirby is the ball and you play golf. It's, it's definitely an interesting take. The physics are quite different. They're solid, but they're different. So I really need to sit down and play this one more. Here's one that I believe I traded play more games for. This is Lagoon, a, you know, downgrade to the Legend of Zelda style games. Not really sure what else to say about this. Eventually I want to sit down and beat this one. Just have a quick getting around to it. So many games, so little time. Let's continue on. How about a game that's got another kick butt soundtrack and is quite interesting, I think. It's challenging, but overall it's quite enjoyable. This is Lawnmower Man. If you never checked out some gameplay of it, check out some gameplay. I'm not really sure how to describe this one. It's just, it's different. But it does have a kick butt soundtrack, so at least there's that. We got one more. We got, for under L, speaking of, we got Lemmings game that was released back in the day on everything. This was on MS-DOS, probably on 3DO. On, there's two different versions of this for the Super Nintendo, so now I'm going to be on the hunt for the one for the Super Nintendo. The second one, the sequel to this. Now then, let's get into those M games. First up, the game that's most famous for the using the Nintendo Mouse, Mario Paint. My youngest likes this one, so had to have this one in the collection. Let's set that right there. Next up, speaking of Mario games, we got three here. That's two. Mario is Missing, the educational Mario game. And yeah, it's as bad as they advertise, but at least the soundtrack's good. I featured it before on Mario Monday. If you guys want to see it again, comment down below. Let me know. And the last one, Mario's Time Machine. 
same thing educational game it's awful great soundtrack if you want to see it featured in another episode of mario monday comment below not much more we're going to say about that one how about some Oop, hold on we skipped ahead a little bit here trying to do these in alphabetical Mega Man X. Do I need to say more? Come on. Every collection needs to have Mega Man. It's just an awesome, fantastic game. You can't beat Mega Man. Gotta have it. Fortunately, I don't have two or three. Maybe eventually I'll try to collect Mega Man X2. But anyway. Now, as I was about to talk about, Mech Warrior 3050. This is kind of under the same umbrella as the cybernated games. You roam around in a mech suit and make stuff go boom. So, can't complain about that. One of two red cartridges for the Super Nintendo. Maximum Carnage. Spider-Man and Venom's Maximum Carnage. Fantastic, fantastic game made by LGN Beat em up but oh my god is this one hard. This is the game that just I absolutely love and it absolutely hates me because man, this game kicks my butt every time I try to play it. Uh, it's so hard. We'll continue right along. How about the other... M game, The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. I think I have these slightly out of order. Oh well, sorry. When I try to set them down to record this, they kind of all scattered, so forgive me for that. Anyway, Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. This is actually the first one. Great Circus Mystery, which is over there, is actually the sequel. And then in Japan, there was a third one, which is um, Mickey and Donald. I forget the title of it. So all three are worth playing, you know. If you don't feel like ponying up the money form, go play them any way you can. How about another fun and, dare I say, hidden gem budget platformer? Michael Jordan's Chaos in the Windy City, where you use Michael Jordan's overpowered basketballs. Yeah. <laughs> fun game. Quite interesting. And is there even stayed relatively cheap cartridge, so pretty cool. I was a huge fanboy of the Power Rangers when I was a kid, so I had to have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Probably one of the most easiest beat-em-ups, in my opinion, on the entire console. I mean, you know, realistically, I can plow through the first couple levels of this game, no problem. It's all in a one plane, so there's no, like, you know, worrying about guys trying to sideswipe you and throw you. I guess the game never gave me too much trouble. And at the end of the game, you get to use the uh, Megazord, so pretty cool it's limited but it's fun let's set that there now we finally the last three games we get into my mortal kombat games that i got for the super nintendo first off we got mortal kombat 1 mortal kombat 2 and mortal kombat 3 and of course i have ultimate mortal kombat 3 but we'll get to that when we go under the final one that's under you so that's all for this collection video showcase everybody hope you enjoyed it you see any standouts any glaring omissions, games that I need to add, comment below. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time.